let's talk data products. And let's talk about data products within the context of AI governance. I think data products can help with AI governance. And I want to mention or talk today about four specific areas where I think they can be of help. The first area is data efficiency. Now, let's think about this for a second. If I'm a data scientist and I'm trying to access data, for the most part, if I'm working within a known AI solution with known data sets, that data is probably already well structured for me somewhere. And that works very well for known data and known solutions. But if I look at a backlog of data solutions or AI solutions I'm trying to solve, most of that revolves around data that I don't know and maybe AI solutions that I really don't understand just yet. So a data scientist needs the ability to discover. And that's where efficiency becomes a problem. If in that discovery, I need to move a lot of data into a data science arena, that creates risk for the governance team. What the governance team wants is they want you to get the data you need. Data minimization, only use, only move the data you need. From a Starburst perspective, what I wanna do is I wanna give that data science team the perception that they can see all the data, right? I wanna be the abstraction layer that allows them to discover through a backend catalog all that data, no matter what lake it sits on, whether it's in multiple clouds, whether it's on-prem, it might even be in some other data sources. I want to allow them via secure channel, the ability to query and iterate. What if I get this table and that table and that row and that column? What if I bring it together? What does that look like? No, no, I wanna do something different. What if I bring this in? I wanna give them the ability to discover and iterate across the enterprise until they find the data that they need, the exact piece of data, that data asset, that smaller piece that they need to solve their problem. I wanna minimize the data. When they get the data, that's the data I make available. And that data, we're gonna call it a data product. It's a data product because it's not just an asset. What we're also going to do is we're going to describe it. This is where the data came from. This is how you use the data. This is a data's risk profile. And what we're starting to do now is solve another problem for AI governance teams. The second problem is data quality. If I can focus my efforts, if I can sit a domain team around a data product and we can say, let's make sure that we describe it as best we can, let's make sure that we can improve the quality to where it needs to be, that's a lot less effort. The problem with data quality today is that, we, as I said a second ago, we need a lot of data. Most of that data is in places that it's hard to get to and if I want to improve quality, that's a tremendous effort. I don't know where to start. But if I can focus my quality efforts on the data in front of me, that data product, that data science team's already said, that's exactly what I need. Now I've got a winning chance. Now I've got a high quality, curated, well-described data asset that a data science team and AI team can now put to work. That brings me to the third challenge, interoperability. Now, I'd like to say that every data science team is going to reuse the same data assets or data products. And that's not true, right? Certainly at the onset, when you start to build data products, teams are going to need to access and invent many of their own data products. But if you can imagine at some point, as we start to build more and more of these data products and describe them, as different teams start to build AI solutions, we want them to go to the library. We want them to go to the library and say, yeah, that's what I need because they've read the description. They know how to use it. And they can pick and choose and get access to the data products that they need to fit into their AI solution. They might need to do something else to the data to make it work in the AI solution. Maybe they're vectorizing the data. I don't know. But at least they've already got the data to start with. Whether they're a BI team or whether they're writing very simple AI predictability models, or maybe they're driving and training a machine learning algorithm, a lot of these data sets can be very useful for them. And more importantly, for teams that don't really care about the specifics in the data, maybe I'm just doing trending, we can hide some data sets or we can anonymize some data sets in the same data product. And for teams that need the full scope of that data product, they have access to everything. And so we can drive a tremendous amount of interoperability and again, drive much more efficiency if we get people to reuse these secure, high quality, consistent data products. Fourth area is transparency. Whenever we're talking about AI governance, the first thing we should think about and what makes governance from an AI perspective different than any other governance solution that we've built in the past is a need to drive transparency and explainability. It isn't good enough to secure it. 
Now I also have to be able to explain how it works. And data products can really help with the very first part of that challenge. With a data product, and I'm sitting in front of somebody, I can tell them this AI solution used these data products and these data products got their data from these sources. And this is exactly how the data was transformed in each data product. I have the ability, the auditability to demonstrate exactly where the data came from, what was done with the data, and then where it was delivered or who it was delivered to. And that kind of gives me a really valuable first part of the transparency story. And now the AI team can focus on really trying to explain the function or the purpose of the actual AI engine. Put together, I think data products for our customers that are building them, we, when we talk about data products and AI governance, I think they go hand in hand. And so if you're interested in learning more about our data products, or you want to have a broader AI governance conversation, reach out to us and let us know. Thank you.